So, I think what Leyland's trying to do here is he's trying to position to get their bot laner either Rook or Harewer. Now, if I was Oblivion, I'd just get rid of Harewer, because at least Rook is manageable, but Harewer is not manageable in the least bit. <laughs> so, yeah. Oblivion taking this time kind of trying to figure out exactly what they want to ban. I think they really want to ban that Zaku out there, though, because you know Zaku broken. Why do you keep saying that someone plays Zaku on that team? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just, I have no idea if anyone even plays Zaku. I know Oblivion plays Zaku, but I doubt it's with. <laughs> well, if T Rab was on the other team. I still wouldn't ban Zaku. Okay, so here one Rook, but here we're instantly picked up. Oblivion, you cray cray. <laughs> He left the the hair were open. That's that's ballsy, but we'll see how it plays out for his team. So Oblivion, if I was Oblivion here, I'd take the Rook death most indefinitely, like Rook Featherstone maybe or Rook Hell, like kind of try to deny them some stuff. So here comes the Rook out for the bot laner, I'd assume, and I'd like, I'd like to see Chester or Hell picked up here, one of the two, because they are on the OP side for Chester, but they are lacking someone to play him since Tilkash isn't here. I know play you can play him okay, but then they'd have to send someone else bot. So they go with the bow pick for Oblivion. Oblivion's really comfortable on that bow, as he's shown in his games today. So Featherstone Hell coming out, Leyland, such a strong draft right now. But we've seen snacks. They show us that comp don't match. Strong picks don't matter to them. They're all about the mesh. All about the mesh. No strong pick. But um, I like to see what they pull out here. If I was them, I definitely pick up a ray here. A ray or Trixie. They're gonna need one of those two, I think, to stop the hell in Hammer. But it'll be interesting to see what they opt towards. Maybe a Blazer pick coming out? No reason for them to pick Blazer now. Like, as of now, like right now, there's more immediate picks that they could aim for. I think that would be more useful currently. Can we get a Zaku? No, I'm kidding. I'd like to see another Gokong game. Um, I don't think they'll pull that out this game, but I feel like maybe if they're like one up in the series, they'd consider it. But I think right now they're looking to go in for the throw with more of a standard comp. I, I know Snacks doesn't like to run Tinder as for one, but Claudessa... It, well, I mean, Tokash doesn't like think Tinder's a good champion, I think. Okay, so Claudessa and Moxie coming out, so... They've really seem to like Snacks loves this Bo Moxie and they've gone into every game, I'm pretty sure. And it's good. I still don't feel like I've seen e them utilize it yet, you know what I'm saying? Like from what we've seen, like they haven't had that bow roaming at all usually. So I don't feel like they like utilizing it, but it'll be interesting to see how it works out for them this game. And then the Carter pickup coming from them. I believe earlier we saw someone on their team play Carter. I can't remember who. Snail. Snails, Snails played Carter, I believe. So we're probably seeing a Hell Carter coming out mid again, which is a really, really strong lane as we saw them play it earlier. So I don't see why people keep giving Wuff Hell. Like, Bastion and Hell are probably what you want to take away from Wuff, I assume. I don't know, though. Because, you know, I don't know what Wuff plays. Trollo. Um, but yeah. So they gave Wuff and then that same lane they're comfortable with again. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out moving on. So, really thinking about their final pick, I really feel like they need to pick up some type of frontliner here, or maybe even Tinder for the AoE heal, and they'll be fine, because they are running the kind of double ADC comp, kind of, not really, not really, but kind of, you know what I'm saying? Does Lon play Featherstone? 
Um, the Caprice. Okay, so they got Hooligan on yeah. Caprice again. I was gonna say that. Yeah, like the Caprice pick is brutal whenever they run it. So that really. So we got an interesting pick coming out here, making life a little bit more exciting. <laughs> So, it's going to be interesting to see how they use this Vex going into this game. Like, if they can get good ults and whatnot. Because if they get a good Vex ult combat of bow, it'll be really good. But the Vex pick could also be what puts now on the coffin for them. So, it really is going to come down, I feel like, to how this Vex handles his play. And whether he does well or not. So I don't know if tacos means already or not, but if you keep talking about food, I'm going to go eat and get hungry. <laughs> well, I'm always ready for tacos. Dude, who isn't always ready for tacos? Though personally, I love I, I love cheesecake myself. I'd eat cheesecake anytime. <laughs> okay. We're waiting on uh chocolate milk. They signed up under clan milk, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna call them clan milk. It's because I've been doing shoutouts to chocolate milk all day, so. <laughs> I know. I don't know why you troll. Because I'm drinking chocolate milk. Yeah, man, CM can stand for, like, a bunch of things. Chocolate milk, cookies and milk. Stands for clan milk, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Stop trolling me, God. Alright, I think, I think we're good to go now. Alright, start her up. Five, four, three, two, one, let's rumble! Someone tweet that this is going now, because like we lost like 20 viewers, I think, during that long, perilous wait. Clan Milk versus... I'm just going to turn the music on while we load. So, we have Snacks A coming to revenge their brother, Snacks B against Clan Milk, the cookies and milk, chocolate and milk, crazy maniacs, whatever you want to call them. So, we got the matchup of Dudley on his famous heroer versus... Could be Vexbot, that would be kind of trolly, but it'd be kind of fun to see. And then we have... Fetter, Caprice top, and Woof and Snails mid on Hell, Carter. Looks like we're gonna have Oblivion Dumble mid, most likely Plague Bot on Vex for Claude Rook top lane. Definitely wondering how a Vex would handle against the hair where if he does play Vex bot, dude, this kid will have my respect forever though. Like I love people who try to implement new things. Like Bastion bot or Bow bot. Those are two amazing things. I don't have interviews it. Whoever put those in the game was a genius, man. <laughs> um. Okay, so quick blind coming out. We see the standard start coming out of most of CM with ESKT Wolf picking up region, region on Hooligan, Man region on Carter, Dudley, and they didn't have him bought yet. Then we flip over on the other side. And we see Fellblade on Shinji, Double Man region on Isaac, and the Fellblade 
of power starting on bow. Gumble and Plague also by Gumble. It's a dagger though, and so does Vex. They get a fell blade. So they're going for the bot ease again. I really hope that Snack Say recognizes this. Like it's the second time that they've gone for it. Yeah. Snacks likes to do the five man mid though. Yeah. It's because we killed him like three times, so we <laughs> did it that one time. We took a page out of uh, Eshrek's Shrek's book there. Doing the Eshrek. Did I do the Eshrek? No. <laughs> So, pretty good setup coming out of them. They're gonna kind of go off to the lanes, I think. So, they're running Claw. I got it outplayed. They're sending Synergy bot lane, and they're putting the Vex top lane with Claudessa. Interesting choice. I was really hoping to see the Vex bot lane, so yeah, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed. I feel like Synergy's gonna get cut out here, though, in all honesty. This Caprice is gone. Snacks no, is recalling. Snacks went four Fellblades. Man, are we seeing no. the pre the after healing god meta come out now? <laughs> after healing god, I'm pretty sure it was like all fell blades for a while. Well, this is gonna change drastically very soon. You can't prove that. Okay. <laughs> it ain't gonna be the same. I'll tell you that much. Vex, Vex getting low. So, Dudley going instantly ham on Synergy, they're trading fairly even though. Up top lane, Vex is pretty low, they're going for Hooligan, Hooligan's being chased, the stun comes out. A lot of damage is going to be going down on Isaac, Vex is popping in pot, he shoots out the E, it hits the Featherstone. Isaac's on the run, and it looks like a pretty good trade for both the teams. Down bot lane, we got Hooligan getting, I mean Dudley getting out traded, he's popping the potion though, so. Synergy's going to have to back up and pop one also, I believe. I mean, like, we got Wolf and um, Snails being pushed back. Snails is popping a potion. Dumble is not, though, so Wolf and Snails are pretty manly also right now. So they could be looking to go on Dumble. Wolf's stepping up like he wants to, but he backs up when he realizes that there's no one to follow up currently. Wolf taking some poke, but yeah, he ate the W2, giving Dumble more mana. Looks like Oblivion's trying to regen some more mana off this right now, trying to maybe put himself in a good position. Wolf taking some poke, so is Oblivion. And turn damage, just kind of simple trading. Up top lane, we have them being shoved into turret by Leyland and Hooligan. And down bot lane, Synergy controlling the pace of the lane from the, from the looks of it. Dudley up against his turret. And not much you can do, dude. Synergy's playing it very well. The wolf comes out from Dudley, but nothing much really happening here. Not like Synergy's gonna tower dive. Just a lot of farming going on. Dudley sitting at 270 GPM right now. Shouldn't he, he's trying to form out a turret. He's actually missing some of the CS, but now he's starting. Okay, he's he's getting warmed up now. He's starting to hit more of it, and maybe not. Okay, so Dudley still sub 300 GPM. So that really hurt him. Shouldn't he's definitely putting the pressure on him in lane right now. Yeah, Snack seems to be farming a lot better than they did last game. Well, this is a different Snacks team. Oh, oh wait, but yeah, they did farm but, bad that one game, didn't they? Against yeah. um, Tusser. Well, I feel it's because Tusser had a much more aggressive play style. Like, they were constantly fighting. They were controlling the lanes. Their team play just wasn't that good. Dudley's starting to get control of bot lane again, maybe. He's finally above 300. He's kind of caught up. Top lane, we see that we got Caprice roaming down. This could be deadly for them, but... Sadly, Wolf and Snails push that lane up at the wrong time, and now Oblivion's just wasting time while Leyland gets pushed to turret. We have a fight breaking out. Dudley's going for Shinji. Shinji manages to get out. That was a close call for Shinji, though. 
Yeah, Darley must have hit level 6 right there. I did. Day. He hit 6 yeah. first using the Filling Axe shove. So, Hooligan ends up recalling. He's gonna bot. This is gonna be brutal. Hooligan's really just looking for these realms, trying to get the Reaper Sight stacks. He's playing kind of like Sherry Hill, if expects. For anyone who doesn't know, Sherry Hill used to be like this ma a girl that played Caprice a lot and she would just roam. <laughs> It was really annoying. <gasps> wow, Layla getting taken down bot lane. This is very bad for CM. Like, they have to get this kill on Synergy or it's gonna hurt them extremely. Oh, he dodges it. He gets a W. Layla's gonna drop. No, he, Layla drops. Dudley may drop here. Dudley manages to get out barely. That's a one for one trade. Could have been worse for Synergy and they will be losing that top turret most likely. So let's see if Dudley can somehow push this bot turret. I'd really like to see a roam out of mid lane to Dudley right now since he's so low though. But it doesn't look like it'll be happening. And Dudley's more focused on farming than pushing the turret. So first tower going over the snacks. Well played by snacks to be able to get a turret off that. G and Leyland's GPM's just being shut down right now. Hooligan's back in lane. He's looking for a fight. Plague gets hit. The hook's coming out. Leyland gets hooked. Isaac is level 6. They're going after Leyland. Leyland bound is in service out. They're going for Hooligan now. Hooligan is so under level. He's only level 4. Can they get the slow? Hooligan gets slowed. Hooligan's going down. But after Leyland now, Leyland's trying to kite back. His Q is up. Isaac's game low. The E comes up from Plague Leyland manages to get out. You click bot real fast. We got Dudley for Shinji. Shinji's also not up. Shinji have to raise it to kind of get away from Dudley to make it an even trade. A lot of action going down across the map all at once. In lane, it looks like we have a fight. Oblivion gets dropped pretty low without putting any return damage, so well played by Wolf and Snails to be able to drop that down. Well played indeed. Again, Shinji's fighting. Shinji's able to 1v1 Dudley. Dudley is dropped by Shinji. Amazing play from Shinji to be able to know that he could take on Dudley there. For anyone who didn't, I don't know if you saw it or not. Um, I Zingo. just missed it. He just missed it. So what happened is Dudley went on to him. He W'd. They were trading. Dudley was about one hit from waving from Shinji and Shinji shoots his Q and gets a double hit. If we flip mid lane, got a four man rotation. Snails is getting dropped. Wuff is on the run. He's getting slow though. He's not going to make it. He's down. Hooligan is here, but Hooligan is not 6 8. He has no kill potential on these guys with Leyland's through pushing farm. So we have a four man push down coming down mid. Pod's coming out. The stun going down on Claudessa, but no follow up because he's by himself. Snacks are showing that they have the teamwork. Yeah, they're it was a very, very nice back They're not just a team. What's back? No, it was, it was a very nice Vexalt. Oh. And Moxie yeah. ult combination. Oh, did Vexalt? I missed it. Yeah. Dang. Okay. So yeah, like, Vex... So that means Vex is kind of just playing his hero right. He's doing what he needs to do. Like, I think what Snaxy is trying to show here is that they're not just a team who got thrown together this week. They're a team that's been practicing and they have and know what they need to do to play in situations like this. Shinichi going ham on Dudley again, but no kill coming out. Ulan might time. be out right now. The wolf's here. Ulan is getting caught. Vex is dropping though. Vex gets the shield. They need to be focusing. The tops is going down. It looks like Hell's chasing the wrong person. He's leaving. Oh my gosh, he's almost dead. If the Q comes up, Leyland will go down. Leyland's gonna try to, t oh no, wow. He gives up the chase to go for Wuff. Shinji gets caught out. Shinji's able to drop down Caprice in the 2v1. Shinji's on the run. He pops a potion. He dies down to Dudley though. Then Rome from Caprice just keeps killing Shinji. He needs some help from his team in these situations. But he's just not getting them. Even though with two ganks coming down to Shinji, Shinji's still out farming Dudley by about 10 GPM. Now it's even though. And Shinji's going to be missing a whole lot of CS most likely. Well applied by Hooligan to get the Rome down even though he died. He's just getting those stacks though. Yeah. And he's got fits, so he's getting fits gold every time he sues out like Okay, so all coming out. Oh my gosh, that's one dead Moxie. Plague, you should have cancelled his ult, but he didn't. Boak to get out. The Windrush coming out. They're going to be able to get out there. Good rotation by CEM to pick up that kill on Moxie. Yeah, Moxie has not completed his spring boots yet, so he had nothing he could do there. Well played to pick out the mobile champion. I really think CM should rotate for Baldir now, but it doesn't look like they're going to. That would have been a free Baldir without Bo and Plague being able to do anything to stop him. I mean, it looks like Synergy's maybe looking for something on Dudley. He's going for it. He feels like he has the damage to do it. So they just kind of poke each other. They don't really actually fight. That was, it. That was very anticlimactic. Meanwhile, though, Hooligan is fighting Isaac. Isaac's losing this trade. And they have close as much damage, he heals and walks away though. Now, with Wolf Salt's down, they need to be careful how they pick a fight here. 
Now, if Wolf's always here, that'd be an amazing chokehold right here to catch them for an amazing all, but sadly, it's down. But they need to be careful. If they pick a wrong fight here, Snacks will roll all over them. Especially if Feather and Caprice being zoned out. Now, Plague is doing a very good job. He's holding this point so Hooligan can't get over to help his team while they three man siege mid. Hooligan's looking for the fight and he's kind of trying to get closer, but Vex is able to hold him off for quite a while. They got a lot of damage on that turret even if they don't get it. And he's still even zoning with Caprice now. The Caprice jumps in. I need the shape. The, he dodges it. The battle looks like he's going to be fighting. The Windrush is being popped. Hooligan's running. Hooligan has his ult though. Snails get hit. He gets hit. He goes through the Moxie ult. Takes a lot of damage, but it looks like... No, they're still going. No, they back up now. So that looks like a good trade for Snacks. They burned a lot of ults, but they also shoved three people away. Though Hooligan. Hooligan looking to come in. Oblivion ults him up against the wall. Picking up the kill. Well fight by Oblivion to be there and ready to take that kill. A hook going down on Wolf. Wolf is Q. He Q's out, but he's still taking a lot of damage. Vex is looking for it, but he can't just get it. Now, Snacks is doing exactly what they need to do. Against Dudley's Harrower, Rook's doing okay against him, but not only that, if Dudley's Harrower can't get the late game, then they're not going to have to worry about it. While Dudley's farming great with a 40 GPM, if the rest of his team gets rolled over, I even don't think a Harrower can carry for dead, not dead weight, but for players who are so far behind. They're not really, they're not super far behind yet, but they are just kind of getting outplayed comp-wise, is what I mean. But well played by W to continue with his lane. Baldir going over the snacks, I believe. Yeah, we'll see him needed to fight this. Like, if they don't fight this, this is gonna be really bad. Isaac looking to actually turn it. Isaac kills himself, kinda just gets out. Hooligan once again. So you can clearly see the strat that CM's looking to do here. They're sending Hooligan by and just trying to get Dudley rolling. Which is really smart. Dudley almost has his vampiric dagger down and they're gonna be taking bot to here. I feel kinda bad for Shinji, because Shinji's been playing a fairly good game, but Hooligan's coming done. top. Lalan's going down right now. Yeah. Oh wow. Lalan caught Wuff's on the run. He gets the Q off though. But they got the wind rush. The slow's coming out on Wuff. Bo's coming to catch him. The tops comes out. That's gonna be one dead Wuff. Yeah. So well played by Snacks. Good rotation. Though they need to help Shinji. They're completely ignoring him. I don't know why. Because Shinji's being 2v1 and getting zero help. Like, you gotta send help to that bot lane eventually. Like, he's done a very good job pulling off until this point. Like, with how many ganks I've been taken to, but he needs he needs relief at some point. And it looks like Oblivion's ready to come give him that relief. So, let's see if Oblivion can make anything happen. He has Windrush and Spring Boots, but Dudley and Hooligan just backed off in the gun. Oblivion's setting up in a good position, but it doesn't look like they're gonna risk it. It's like you're getting caught out in the top lane. Plague is getting jumped. He pops the shield. He's not going to make it out. That's going to be Plague falling down there. Bounder coming out. That's going to be a kill on Snail. Snail should not have bounded. Was that a Bounder forward? No, he's running Mystic, isn't he? Maybe what is he running? Boots. Was that a Bounder forward? It was either a Bounder or a Rocket Boots forward. Rocket Boots. There's a Rocket Boots forward. Okay. So really silly Rocket Boots. Oblivion going ham bot lane, but nothing coming out. Shinji's caught out because of it now. Shinji with the Demon Blade complete though now. Um, Hooligan going for Oblivion. Oblivion's going to take a lot of damage. The all comes down on the Hooligan. Hooligan gets ulted against the wall. The damage is being dropped on Hooligan. Hooligan gets dropped. Oblivion's on the run. Oblivion turns around. Dudley's getting dropped. Dudley has no armor. They cannot catch him though. Dudley's going to be able to further boot, further boot out of there. And that's a 1 for 0 trade in, the, yeah, in favor of Snacks there. Yeah, that was a very nice Rook and Bow ult. But, see, that's what I like to see. Like, you gotta not panic. Like, the Bow was getting dropped. He didn't panic and he made the play he needed to play. And now it looks like they may be rewarded for Bacha, though Moxie's getting caught out by Harrow. Moxie almost kills him, does Moxie have ult up? No, no Moxie's ult up. She just used it. Yeah, she used it. So, Dudley getting caught. Oblivion's coming in, he got slowed by the Vex, barely. That's gonna- Oh, Dudley with the jukes like the Jagger. He has to move like Jagger, but he drops. Bo goes down though, but they got Hooligan. Hooligan's trying to get onto the Moxie, but the Moxie can't get it. The E's missed by the Vex. Hooligan is now on the run. Vex doesn't have anything up, and they back up with a two-for-one trade. Though, it looks like Kooligan will be taking that top turret unless Vex is running TP boot, which he is not. So, they're going to be trading Leyland. It's going to be getting top turret, but they're going to be getting bot turret. Well played by Leyland and not rotating to be able to know that he can continue to push. So, could have been worse for Clan Milk there, but they handled it very well. These two teams seem to be matching each other pretty well. It's a good and like a good game. Yeah, they're really going play for play. Snack's going for the Baldir right now. Yeah, that's going to be the second Baldir of the game, I believe. Hell, Wolf has an idea of what's going on, 
but he's not gonna be able to stop it. He has alt up, so I guess he could, but his team's not there to follow it up. He's actually gonna go for the alt. He alt. He misses it completely. Wolf going a bit too ham. They're gonna pick this up now. They need to get it though before the rotations come in. The rotations are coming in. Let's look at the fight. Oblivion's going in. Oblivion in. Leyland's cut out. He's gonna get stunned. That's a lot of damage going down. Leyland gets dropped by Shinji. Shinji needs to pull in. No, he's gonna go for the Carter. Yep, that's Wolf King. Drop down. They're chasing down him. That's a three for zero trade. And a deer going over to Snacks. Now it looks like they're gonna group up five mid and push. Shinji needs to recall here and he needs to stop that Harrower or Vexing's the all. One of the two needs to happen. But it looks like they're just gonna try to five man push down middle. Death timers are short though. I may we may have to see a Vexalt bot lane, I think, here in all honesty. Like I don't think they're gonna go for the generator. Cause yeah, they're all spawning. Vex needs to actually alt out of here. No, Harrower recalled, never mind. It looks like yeah, Milk's gonna go for the fight. Oblivion gets caught out. The wind rushes are coming out, so they're gonna just disengage. Help coming in. Hell's all is not up though from the last fight. Just done by Oblivion. The Moxie also coming down, throwing massive damage. They're super low. Shinichi doesn't pull in though. They're running out. The card all goes and hits Moxie, but Moxie's out of the range. And it looks like, wow, Clan Milk had all the advantages there in all honesty, other than not having Hell out. And they didn't lose anybody, but that fight could have been so much better, but so much worse also if all threw up. Well played by both the teams there to kind of go in there, but Snacks came out on top of getting out without taking any casualties. I would have liked to see Snails alt someone a bit lower or closer because they could have capitalized off that, but he went for the full HP Spring Boot Moxie. Yeah, Snacks is up about 6k gold right now. 6k? Yeah. That's a fairly solid lead considering, like... Everything that's happened. There's been a high kills this game, but they've been controlling objectives. Looks like Cooling could be cut out here. No. Oh. Wow. Oh, he almost fell jumped that, by the way. Play you after to cancel his ult and put it on a 100 second cooldown because he went a bit too ham there. So it looks like they're going to be grouping bot. Leyland's still on the top side of the map. He isn't recalling either. So if they do want to do a 5 man push here, Leyland won't be here to help. No, Leyland, yeah. Leyland's going to go for the split push, it looks like. So they see that and they for the initiation here. They're going for Dudley. Dudley doesn't get hooked. Damn, the time. This, whoa, Carter is so far out of position that it's time and funny. But Oblivion going through. That's a 2 for 1 trade. They're still pushing Shinji with the Void Key troll. Well, he manages to get alive. Dudley's going to be doing work here, though. Layla's still not coming. Dudley's going in. He's going in too deep, though. He's got Trickle of the Razor. That's going to Wow, I need to work on speaking. <laughs> but 4 0 trade for snacks. I apologize to everyone for that awful casting right there. <laughs> but Leyland's still splitting top and they're going to be losing another inner turret. That was a very weak decision making by CM. They came over. The like, squishies completely overstepped. Like snails made questionable positioning. Basically, just way overstepped. It was bad positioning. And now they're going to be giving up possibly a Sindara. This is a very ballsy Sindara by Team Snacks. Like, if they do get contested, they could get wiped and lose Sindara. But it looks like... Ooh, Clan Nook didn't have an idea what's going on, but now they figured it out. They're all going to be rushing over. Oh, the Moxie going in. She doesn't have the mana continue, though. This Sindara's being low at max. Hooligan can get some kills here, I think. Yeah, Hooligan can jump again. One down. About to be two down. No, they're going to get out. They turn back in. Oh, Oblivion going way too ham. Oblivion also zone for his team though. That's a worthy sacrifice. He manages to pick up Snaz. He's on the run now. Who looking at the slow though? And it looks like Oblivion's gonna fall down there. But it looks like Snacks is looking for the re-engage. I don't understand. You guys have Monkey. Why are you coming back in? They're on the run. Dudley's chasing. Dudley does have his stone skin completed now. And it looks like Snacks is gonna get pushed out right before the monkey spawns. Yeah, I don't now, think they're gonna get very much off. No, no, you go. Sorry. Oh, that's Indara play. As soon as they got it, they should have just disengaged from that fight. Yeah. But Oblivion had other plans. Yeah, they got the disengage. And then Oblivion went back in. Like, Oblivion running in there with the W, pushed them off, and then he spring boots in and alts. While he killed Carter, it's still, he's worth more gold than that Carter. But And then like, tries to get a pick here. Oh, Hooligan. Oh, oh, he gets the kill, though. Hooligan's on the run, though. He's going to die. That is not worth. Actually, that's argued. That's... Never mind. Oh, play Grover stepping to tortoises though. That, that was a waste of hell up though. Kennedy is on the Featherstone. He's going in. The hell up's down though. Hell's gonna get caught out. They have no hell up for this next fight. So in the end, there's a two for two trade. But they've lost their Caprice for the giant burst and they've lost their hell up. That is gonna be extremely hard. Here we're currently soloing Baldir. I don't think I agree with this play. While he's getting it, the monkey's gonna get to the generator now easily and he's gonna be a little bit late to the party. 
Yeah, this could We're looking be a to get this here. Respawn times are short and Caprice is up. This could be really bad for Snack. Carter Snack card. is looking for the engage. They're going in on Carter. Oh, bad positioning by Shinji. Shinji oversteps up, but he avoids. He's a convoy. The Vex all is coming in. The Vex drops in. Shinji is getting dropped low. They're going for Hooligan though. Hooligan's taking a lot of damage. Vex is able to kill Hooligan. Dudley's in a bad position now. He has no HP and his stones can just walk. They're chasing after him. The Vex is making big plays. That's going to be Dudley going down. Now Snacks is on the run from the giant damage from Leyland and Noir, but it looks like Dumble's arriving just in time. He jumps in on Leyland. Leyland takes massive damage, but he's able to get out because of his barrier token. And it looks like Snacks isn't done yet. I don't think they're going to go for the win here. Oh, they are. Snacks with 15 seconds on Caprice thinks the they can go for the win. came up under the, on, on the crux. Yeah, they just decided to okay, Yeah, they, they, good decision making by, good decision making by Snacks to back up there. So they get the ancients, they back off. They now they just really, they, well, they knew Baldia was gonna actually. I forget that it tells them, but they're backing off. That was a good play by them to push and be able to take that generator there. So Zingat, at this point, what do you think Snacks need to do? There's no objectives on the map other than. A generator bot lane and an outer turret top lane. Do they need to wait for Baldir and Sindara, or do you think they can take the risk of just trying to siege down on Clan Milk? I don't think they should siege. They should probably wait for a Sindara right now. Or unless they they can they can pick someone out pretty well. So it looks like Isaac could get cut out here. I don't think Kuligan's crazy enough to try to. Yeah, he's not gonna alt over because he barely dents Isaac. But he does have his full Reaper Scythe, I realize now, but... Who... Leyland is always split pushing. Which is good because he needs gold, because look at his build. He has Vampiric Vampir Dagger and Barrier Token. Now, I'm a firm believer in that it's good to go sit and, like, sit stuff like that on ADCs if you're gonna get wrecked. Because you can't do damage if you're dead, but he literally has no damage right now. And he's not gonna be here for fight. He actually does have damage, but he hasn't been there for fights usually, so it's actually been hurting his team. But it looks like they're actually going to try to siege down on this. I think they should shove top bot and just keep farming the jungle and boosting the lead. But it looks like they're content on trying to push. They have the... Ugh. The main thing here is Dumble can't die. Synergy, Shinichi's getting kills and he's okay with going one for one depending on who he takes out. It looks like, are they going for the tower dies? It looks like they may be. The fight's coming in. Carter gets sniped down. Oblivion goes in and finishes the kill. No, he misses it. This is all. Dudley's cut out though. Dudley's taking massive damage. Wolf is going to get dropped. Dudley pops his stone skin is on the run. Vex is still trying to go into their fight. It looks like a lot of Snacks is going to be getting out very well. Dumble ult finally comes down though, really late into the fight. But it looks like Snacks is going to trade for one for Owen Man to get out of it. They're all extremely low now though. The rocket coming, the minion eats it. That could have been bad for them. Shinji's still full HP. They're finally going to feed. They're going to siege the gen. But it looks like. Hooligan came back in time to be able to shove them off it. Good fight executed by Snacks. They almost killed a lot of people, but they didn't have the damage yet to finish it. But they managed to get a little bit of damage on it, but probably not as much as they needed to get. Sundar is coming up. Baldir really and Sundar should be coming up shortly, though, I believe. Yeah, Baldir's up. Yeah, Snacks might have just put themselves in a bad position for this. Not healing. Like, if I was Shinji, I'd run bot right now and just push that generator. Like, there's no one to stop him. But, I mean, he doesn't know that, I can assume, or he'd be doing it. Shinji getting extremely close to finishing his rune splitter, though. And, I'm not, I feel like Snacks, not Snacks, CM's considering base racing. Because they're stacking five on that side of the map, and... They're not taking Baldir, though. They're being very careful, because they know they can't win a fight. They need the pick. But, they're so off right now. Not even on the same plane as Snacks right now. Snacks is on Sindara's side setting up for it. And Snacks is and CM's taking Baldir. Yeah, Sindara just spawned. Good Baldir, but Snails is dropped pretty low. Hooligan takes a good bit of damage. So they know they're going for Sindara, so they're gonna try to push. That's good. Actually, maybe not. No, they're farming the jungle. And they're not grouping up at that turret and they're not hard pushing. They're gonna be giving up Sindara. If I was Plague you, I would just alt top right now and stop that. Oh, the, no, they see them. They see them. They're gonna rush bot. They're gonna force them back. At max, Leyland will get an outer turret off of this. And the... CM's all the over the place. They're gonna pick up two turrets here, but... 
they're not getting anything off it. A bad ult from Shinji from what I can tell. They're going to go for the tank, but Wuff is there and Wuff does have ults. They need to be careful here. They can't take too much damage. Snails is recalling. They're all recalling. They're all going to be back in time for this. Looks like they're going to be sitting the monkey top lane. That's an interesting decision. In all honesty, I feel like they need to back up, cut their losses, and wait for the monkey. There's no point in diving this tank. But Plague are taking a lot of damage. Oblivion going in deep, but he gets hell off the good death. Engaged by Wuff. Oblivion gets blown up. This fight's going extremely bad for Snacks. Claude's really deep in there. A lot of CMs low, but it's not going to matter. They need to back up. They're running for their lives at this point. Dudley trying to chase him down. He may get it. He gets the Wuff. The stupid broken Wuff. Shinji and them all arguing slow. Shinji taking massive damage. Wuff's going to go for Shinji. Shinji. Shinji gets caught. He almost pushed someone, but he doesn't. Plague's on the run, and so is Dumble. Dumble needs to turn and toss a W. If he tosses a W, he can drop massive damage. Yep. Good job. Who's thinking he can drop low? Oh, Dumble turn. No. Okay, so Dumble's on the run. Dumble's ult is not up for another 60, though. It's Spring not even close to being up. He tries to turn. He gets cleaned. That's a 5 for 0 ace going in favor of... Yeah. CM. Of and milk. They really needed that. While they're not going to be able to get anything off it because of how long the fight took, is extremely well played by them. And Snacks got overconfident. Oblivion tried to one into run into a one v five, and just got demolished. Though he is going for Dudley now. The brave, amazing all from Oblivion. Dudley gets caught out. That is going to open up something for their team. I believe Wolf went and handled the monkey. No, the monkey's bot lane. Okay. So bad decision by them to send that monkey bot lane. They should have sent it top and then let it slow, but Blake tries to come in and burns Leyland's bounder. Oh, the rook ult missing. So they got the monkey here, but he's by himself. I don't know what he's saying. Apparently he's thinking he's a king. Oh, oh, never mind Oblivion coming in. He's going for Leyland though. Oh my gosh, Leyland's gonna drop. They're gonna kill this Carter when he drops. That is going to be a gen potentially. They have three down. It's only Helm Caprice. Helm Caprice, woof, completely whiffing his all. Shinji arriving just in time. Shinji does have his rune splitter now. He's going to be doing... No, he doesn't actually. I thought he would. But that is going to be a second gen going into Snacks' favor. Snacks playing this very well. Other than that throw they almost had. But good pickup by Snacks. And now they should back up and go for Baldia. But no, it looks like they're going to look to fight it. A double stun coming from Hooligan. And well executed. Dudley getting stunned up, but he pinces it. Shinji wanting to go in. Shinji needs to queue on Dudley there. Dudley gets dropped. Wolf is on the run. Ruff dies. It looks like they can end the game here. They got... Four down, yeah. They're gonna go for the game in here. If Shinji's Q comes up during this, he'll be able to end it. Yep. Hooligan finishing that hex bane way too late, and that's gonna be game one going over to Snacks in this best of three. Good job, Snacks. Snacks showed once again that they are all about the comfort pick.